Valley may not be the surf capital of the world, but that does not stop surfers and kayakers alike from riding the man-made wave on the Boise River. Here's a live look at the Boise Whitewater Park. The water attraction has become so popular, more businesses and housing uh, options are popping up in the area, and plans to build another wave are already in full swing. KTVB's Gretchen Parsons brings us an update on Phase 2 of the Whitewater Park. Gretchen. <laughs> Kim, that's right. I'm standing right next to the popular mechanical wave on the border of Garden City and Boise. I'm sure you've seen it before, or maybe you've even surfed or kayaked it. Well, just a little bit downstream, the city is in the works of building another wave. It's part of the design phase two of the Whitewater Park, which entails much more than just another wave. For the past two years, Boise City officials have been working on permitting and construction design for phase two of Whitewater Park, but work is ramping up. We're now to a point where we're ready to do the uh, in-river features. Doug Holloway, director of Boise Parks and Rec, says once complete, there will be three in-water features. The first is perhaps the most anticipated. So it'll be a mechanical wave feature that we'll be able to control uh, what type of wave will occur at that location. It'll be very similar to this existing mechanical wave built in phase one, which Guy Midnight, the owner of the nearby bar Yardarm, says has been a game changer. After they're done with a the session, they'll come down and like have a beer and a taco. Recently, several other businesses have popped up by the wave too, including Luciano's Cafe. But now all these little businesses are popping up. The second wave will be built just down the river. No question it's going to increase the visibility of the area and the, and the usage of that area. And serves practical purposes too. And that will also act as diversion for farmers union. So it, and it also acts as a mitigator for flooding as well. Phase two also calls for placing boulders inside the river to create two more natural waves which will go downriver towards Veterans uh, Park Pond will be um, more like Kelly's Whitewater Park uh, feature. In rebuilding part of the Boise Greenbelt. You'll have a brand new Greenbelt connection that will now be on the north side of Veterans Park Pond. The project is set to be finished the summer of 2019. So really it's just creating uh, an environment that really is conducive to engaging our community and having a lot of good free uh, recreational and family uh, opportunities. Phase two, the design phase two of the Whitewater Park will cost $11 million. Four million of that was donated by the Catherine Albertsons Family Foundation, and the rest is from the city's impact fees and also the city's general fund. Back to you.